vlog is going to be my monthly reset. I've been booked and busy if you've been keeping up with me on YouTube or on my Instagram. In the month of March, I went to Colorado. I went on a business trip. I went to Vegas, St. Patrick's Day parades, like everything in between. I've been absolutely booked and busy and I spent a lot of money in February if you watched that reset. So March, I was really not trying to spend too much because I knew I was going on all of these trips. And I'm keeping that same energy for April. I don't plan on buying a lot of groceries in this video because I will be leaving for the last half of the month going on my trip that I still haven't told you guys about. I'm super excited for that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting more or less real-time videos on there. But like I said, this video is my monthly reset, so I will be stocking, stocking my pantry and fridge. Not too much because I'm gonna be leaving, but I do have somebody coming to visit me for a whole week, so I need to go buy groceries you have to feed your guests. But first, I wanna do my expense breakdown for March, go over what I spent, and like you saw, I went to Vegas. I'll have a whole breakdown just on that trip if you guys are interested in that. We went for two full days, Thursday, full days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. I had a great time, so happy I went, and honestly did not spend that much money. So let's get into it with the month of March. When it comes to my mortgage, doesn't change. I always pay a little bit extra. It was $2,100.62. When it comes to my utilities, it wasn't as much as normal because I actually paid my water bill. You caught my last reset. I just don't pay my water bill like every other month and for some reason it's always so much money and I'm like, well, it's because I'm paying two months at a time. I pay my water bill this month, so my total utilities, which includes everything plus my phone plus my Wi-Fi was $457.40 and honestly that still seems kind of high, so let me see what I did there. It was my phone bill for January and February that I paid. Because my dad pays the bill and I just pay him and so I've been slacking so I paid him twice in one month, so that. So that may have affected a little bit. Oh, and you know what? I accidentally calculated my insurance as utilities but that is supposed to go under my car. Actually, I spent $310.46 on my utilities. That sounds more on par. When it comes to my car and gas, $329.83. That seems really high, so let me check that. I have been driving a lot. That may have something to do with it, but that's basically all of my gas. Okay, it also included parking whenever I went to Colorado at the airport. Also parking when I went to Vegas, I parked at the airport. My business trip only covered some of that because it was the weekend and I'm like, that's not a business expense. And yeah, just gas, I've been, I drove a lot this month. So that adds up. When it comes to my little business, my Say Sarah expenses, that was $13.92. That is just my Adobe editing software and like my Apple storage and Google storage. When it comes to groceries, I spent $194 and eight cents. My monthly restock was $126.44. So I did end up spending a couple more, but not much, so not bad. I did eat out a lot, my total for food and drinks, so anything that's not me buying groceries was $158.02. And so this doesn't include any of my Vegas stuff because I captured all of that under travel. That's just like at home, I ate at McDonald's a lot. I was like, get, I went get my hair done, grab McDonald's breakfast was going to a parade, grabbed McDonald's breakfast, got home from Colorado, grabbed McDonald's. Why am I eating McDonald's so much? But you know what? If you watch one of my last vlogs, it's all worth it in the end because they are the nicest people ever. So many compliments. Every single time I go through the drive-thru, oh, you look so pretty. Have a blessed day. Anyway, next up is pets. Ruby. I spend zero dollars on Ruby. Not neglecting her when it comes to her food. That is covered in my groceries because I do buy her real food. If you've seen that vlog before, I cook Ruby's food, ground turkey, all that. When it comes to shopping, y'all, I'm not a big shopper. And ever since I started doing these monthly breakdowns of my expenses, I just decided to shop so much. I spent $358.17 on shopping. What did I buy, you ask? Mm. That's what I bought. Oh yeah. I went to Old Navy and got some work clothes and some linen pants. I got some leggings and Aeropostale. I got my white sneakers. I got some more sneakers. That's about it. So tell me why that cost almost $400. Because that's kind of crazy. Did it really? It sure did. Next is self-care. $285. I got a pedicure. 
which I do maybe like once every three or four months. And then I got my hair done. Obviously that is a big expense. And then when it comes to other expenses, zero, I categorize everything in my little buckets, which means I'm good at categorizing my expenses because I have nothing for other. And then lastly, I mentioned my Vegas trip. What I spent in March, because I did pay for some stuff last month, but what I spent for March was $922.04. And so a little breakdown of my trip to Vegas, my flight was free, not free, it was free. I didn't pay for it. I came from a business trip, so my company, my project paid for my flight to Vegas and home from Vegas and like that price was cheaper if I would have just went from work to home. The price of that balanced out. It covered all of my flights. The only thing I had to do was pay for luggage. But when it comes to accommodations, we stayed at the MGM Grand, split between four people. We literally canceled and rebooked probably four times because they kept getting a lower price. We went with Priceline.com. But total that came out to $176.58. When it comes to food, we did end up sleeping through a dinner reservation. So it would have been more if we did a fancy dinner. We did a fancy dinner and we did like a fancy brunch. And that was really the only fancy meals we had. But we spent 200, well I, I spent $269.06 when it comes to transportation. So all of our Ubers that we shared between four people for the most part. And then I had like a Metro card for one day. That was $85.73. And then other was $388.49. And the reason other is so big is because we went to see Absinthe, one of the shows, and that was $208.43. So that was a big chunk of the other. Then I got souvenirs. All in all, not a very expensive trip, just about $1,000. Sounds good. Okay, and lastly, before I get to grocery shopping and stocking my house, stocking my house. I'm going to do something new for this month. I want to start budgeting. I, like I said, I track my finances like a normal person shouldn't track their finances. I recommend it though. It's very helpful to see where all your money is going. I get a fresh start every single month. Somebody asks what I track them on. Like the finance consultant I am made an Excel spreadsheet. I use Google Sheets, so it's online. I can access it from any computer or my phone or wherever. I made an Excel spreadsheet for it. I have tabs for every single month. I track my income, my expenses, what I save. I have a little graph. I track my savings goal. I have like the averages for all the months. This is something that I've been working on forever and it's still not like in a pretty state. Like I shared it with my friends and family who want to use it for themselves. Making this like official and putting it on Etsy and selling it as a template is something I really want to do. It's just not ready yet and I don't have the time to commit to it. But maybe one day. But I am going to budget for the month of April. I typically don't budget. And maybe I should start budgeting because I'm living life in 2024. I have not slowed down yet. So maybe I should start setting budgets for myself. I set it up for April. I have the categories that I go through all the time. My mortgage, utilities, gas, everything like that. I already spent some money, so you'll see that there. But I'm going to go ahead and plug these numbers in with you guys. And then next month, we'll review what I spent and see how well I did against my budget that I set for myself. I will put my little budget to the left side of me or the right side. I don't know how this works. I'm going to put it right here. Like I said, I have all the categories that I normally track against. I have a budget column that I have my actual column. You can see that I already kind of started populating some stuff. It's linked to the sheet that I track all my monthly expenses. So utilities, I already paid my water, recovered for April. And then travel, like I said, I've been trying to finalize this stuff. I'm really trying to make sure everything is ready for this trip. I've planned it to a T. But anyway, let's go ahead and give myself a budget for April. We're trying to keep it under control. So my mortgage, that is not gonna change. It is 21, well actually it's less, but I always round up. 21.62 is my budget for my mortgage. When it comes to my utilities, I looked at the average since I am paying all my bills kind of on time. Hopefully I won't be paying double this month. I'm gonna go with 350. Hopefully it'll be a little bit lower than that since I really wasn't here a lot of March. So you know, I'm paying for my water, my electricity then. I wasn't here, so we'll say 350. When it comes to car and gas, my insurance is about 150. I think I'm gonna round up to 200. That gives me $50 for gas, which is just one tank. I, I do have a full tank right now, and I will be driving a bit, so maybe I should round up to, should I do 250? So that's $100 for gas, that's two tanks of gas for the month. I think that's fair. 
when it comes to my expenses for my business, I always spend about $15 on those same things that I always buy, those subscriptions. I think I do need to buy some tech gear for my camera. I consider that a business expense. So let's just estimate 50. When it comes to groceries, I'm not gonna be here. Let's say 100. I'm about to go grocery shopping now, so that's what I'm estimating. I'm gonna make my little grocery list. I'm saying I'm going to spend $100 on the stock. I don't see myself going to the grocery store after my stock today. So $100 is the goal. Food and drinks. This weekend, I'm going to dinner with Nadia and Ebony to see Nadia's new house and her new baby. So that'll be a dinner. It's Taylor's birthday. We're probably gonna go do drinks. Going to a St. Patrick's Day parade that got postponed from St. Patrick's Day because it was pouring raining. So I do have quite a few events that require food and drinks. So I'm gonna say $100. I feel, am I setting myself up for failure or am I giving myself good target goals? Like I feel like I'm gonna exceed this, but I still think it's like an achievable goal. Okay, we'll see how. This is my first time actually setting a budget for myself. So we'll see how it goes. When it comes to pets, Ruby's not getting anything special this month. So zero it is. Shopping. Before my trip, I do want to buy a jacket. Do I need to buy anything else? I don't think so. The jacket, I wanted to get a big down jacket. North Face, $200. Amazon has them for like 50, so I'm gonna get it from Amazon, okay? So we're just gonna estimate 100 though. When it comes to travel, my trip, I still have a couple more things to book. I don't think it's gonna be a lot of money, but there's still things that I'm gonna pay for when I'm there, souvenirs, all of that stuff. I'm gonna say $500 I'm gonna spend on this trip. When it comes to self-care, I don't foresee myself doing anything before this trip. So the trip's all the way to the end of April. So basically what am I gonna do before this trip is what I'm budgeting for. Nothing for self-care. And when it comes to other, I truly don't know what I would spend in other that I don't put in these categories, but I'm gonna go ahead and estimate $50 for that, which brings my total to $3,600 dollars and 62 cents and yeah we'll see how it goes what I need. I can tell you what I need. Cheddar cheese, tomatoes, fruit, specifically bananas, avocados, potatoes. Well, with avocados, I want tortilla chips. I told myself I was going to stop buying chips. I think I need some yogurt too. Yeah, we're going to buy some more yogurt. And then when my friend comes visit, we're gonna go get crawfish. So I need to get some crawfish trays. I don't own any and I think it's about time. What else do I need? I'm getting like a little canned chicken because I'm trying to eat more food and like that's a really quick thing. Mm, I have ground meat. I have two things of chicken. I have one sausage because I'm gonna cook red beans. I guess the question is not what do I need? What am I gonna cook? I'm gonna cook red beans Monday and I have everything I need for that. Do I want to cook pasta? I have everything I need for pasta. What else does one cook? Like, yeah, I think this is gonna be it for the most part. So we'll see what I end up buying. Like I said, I'm estimating $100 for all of April because I only have two weeks and we're already like four days in. So I can't possibly get more stuff.
trees have been shot. First of all, let me tell you, I love the whole time change. I love my long days, but where does the time go? It's 8.30 and I just finished grocery shopping. That's crazy. And then also I catch myself working like past six o'clock. I'll still be click clacking. It's like 6.05 and I'm like, what am I doing here? Anyway, I'm gonna unbag all my groceries and do a little haul, do a little price breakdown. You know how it goes. Ruby wants to go outside. I think this haul looks very healthy. I got a pineapple, three bell peppers, blueberries, organic bananas, some apples that I already smushed one of them. So I'll have to cut that up and feed it to the rabbits in the backyard. Parmesan cheese and some of this cheese. I think I had it before and I really liked it. Got some avocados, some grape tomatoes, cheddar cheese, two big cans of chicken, two sweet potatoes, Greek vanilla yogurt, five cheese, like, I don't know. I'm excited to try this. Some chopped cilantro. I always have to get a meal when I go. I got a barbecue chicken wrap. My tortillas for my guacamole. This is my meal. I had to treat myself for being an adult with some chips. I got these normal pretzels. And then I got these. They're buffalo wing flavored. Interesting. And then lastly, I had to get some makeup, some bronzer. I've never tried this before. Hopefully I like it. That is everything. I feel like I got everything I needed, plus maybe a little more. I did not find my crawfish trays that I wanted to get. They were all sold out. Oh, and the potatoes. The potatoes that I wanted to get, there was one bag left and they just kind of felt a little soft. And I was like, mm, better not. This weekend, Sunday, I'm going to the postponed St. Patrick's Day Parade. I usually catch a lot of food, particularly carrots, cabbages, potatoes. So honestly, I'm banking on catching a lot of potatoes and veggies in general at the parade this Sunday. If not, maybe I'll make a trip to the grocery store before I leave for my trip. Otherwise, I think I did pretty good. This will definitely pull me over. This is a nice little grocery haul. Like I said, my estimate was to spend $100 and I bought a total of 22 items for a total of $100. $8.57. Not bad at all. It was pretty close with the exception of my makeup. It would have been a hundred right on par. It's always my beauty products that end up throwing me over. I did good. Why cook when you buy a barbecue chicken pre-made wrap? I should probably stop doing that. I'm gonna cook tomorrow though. The rest is all my fruit and we wanna be cute. We wanna advertise the fruit. Um, I need to do a quick little clean of my kitchen though because I've kind of been slacking. So let me do that and then set up a little fruit.
to Ruby because she doesn't like apples. To the rabbits. Ew. Yeah. Also, I think there's a rabbit nest in my backyard. I have my guy come and cut the grass tomorrow, and I'm gonna be like, don't cut the back because there's a nest. We just gotta make sure Ruby isn't a nuisance to them. Anyway, okay, this is good. I'm gonna go throw this to the rabbits. Everything is cleared off. All I have to do is wipe down this, which I wiped it down yesterday, so I just need to clean like the side, the side I actually use. Also, does anybody else have white countertops that stain like super easily? These are quartz countertops. I paid like $3,000 extra to upgrade to quartz because it's supposed to be stain resistant, all this stuff, but like, I feel like I always have marks on here. Who's making these stains? Cause it's not even me. Like the stains are just falling out of thin air. What is this? I don't know. We are going to eat our dinner. It is 9.30 at night. I'm probably gonna eat just half of this because I'm not that hungry. I need to stop eating just because I want food. Like, I'm starting to eat more, like, because I don't have as much anxiety, but I'm not actually hungry, so I'm just eating, I guess, out of boredom. And it's also late, like, I should stop eating past at least 9 o'clock. I also should start making these wraps myself, like, I don't think it's that hard. Grilled chicken, bacon, crispy onions, lettuce, and barbecue sauce. Made fresh in the store. saucy. I guess I could add more if I actually cared enough, but I don't care enough. This whole half is like straight tortilla. Okay. I'm not hungry, but I really want to eat the second half right now. I think I'm going to have one more bite. And that's what's keeping me from not eating the whole thing right now. Kitchen is clean. Fridge, pantry, semi-stocked. Reviewed my expenses for March. I've budgeted for April for the first time ever. I budgeted my money. We'll see how this goes next month. So make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Like I said, May is going to be my giant restock. I... Everything's pretty stocked. I'll probably stock up like my freezer more with like meats and stuff because I feel like that's like the big thing that costs a lot. And then I'll stock up on toilet paper and like all of the cleaning stuff. Listen, I haven't bought paper towels since I moved in in August. I have not bought laundry detergent since I moved in in August. I have not bought garbage bags, dishwasher, soap, Dawn or anything like and it's because I stocked up when I first moved in. So I think I'll use May to do that again to last me for literally probably a whole year. That's crazy. But I'll be going on my trip the last half of April. So make sure you subscribe to follow along with that. I'm so, so excited to share that with you guys. I'm also going to be trying to do some like Instagram reels. So make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. But with that, I will see you guys in the next video.